you about a fuzz pedal that I think is cool. The Albatross. It's made by Kasliger, uh, which is a small company in Hungary. There's three main reasons I like this pedal. One is I genuinely like the character of the fuzz. The circuit is really cool. And Albert says it is a blend between a modern JFET style preamp and an old school transistor fuzz. And I like the character of the fuzz itself. The second reason I like it is it has this blend knob, which for bass players, that's incredibly helpful because if you saturate something too much, you can start to lose low end information. So having a blend option where you can blend in your clean or saturated signal is a very, very helpful resource. And then the third thing is I just think it looks cool and it feels good. Like it feels quality. I look at the art, the art is beautiful. It just, it's simple and elegant. Also like check out the packaging on this. Like it's just, it's cool. Albert reached out to me about four months ago and asked if I'd be willing to try one of these things out and maybe make a video about it. And I'm always hesitant to say yes to anything like that because I only want to put things on this channel that I genuinely like and believe in. So I basically battle tested it over the last four months. I took it out on the road, played with multiple bands, did a lot of recording with it. It did really well. I'm comfortable putting my recommendation behind it, and I don't say that lightly. What I look for in a fuzz as a bass player personally is I want something that has some talons, something that has some grit, that can hang, something that can hold its own when the guitars get heavier, but then also not like fart out, like not lose the bass information. So something that has character and aggression and vibe, but still can do the job well. And I feel like that's a fine line to find that sometimes. It can get as fuzzy as I need it to, but it still can do the job as a bass player. It doesn't like go off the rails with the fuzz, if that makes sense. I've been trying a bunch of different combinations with this pedal in different contexts. And one of my favorite sounds that I've gotten out of this is with the fuzz all the way up with the blend right in the middle, which sounds like this. With it off, on. Another cool option is with the blend all the way up and the fuzz at halfway, which sounds like this. Let's check it out with the blend all the way up and the fuzz all the way up. So this is the most aggressive this pedal could be. I've been using it a lot with the bass rig by Origin Effects together with the bass rig like always on and then I'll kick the fuzz on. So with the sound that I like, we'll have the fuzz pretty much all the way up in the blend kind of in the middle. And I've been doing a lot of palm muting where I'll take the fat part of my hand and put it on the bridge and play with a pick. I think if you're looking for a fuzz pedal and you're a bass player like me that's not like in super heavy bands but wants to have some authority and some aggression when needed, I think this is a really good option for you. And I don't have an affiliate link for this. This is just a product that I think is cool. I'm not making anything out of this video if you buy one of these. Uh, I'm not being paid to make this video. I guess my payment is I'm keeping the pedal because I think it's cool. I'm not going to send it back. And I think it's worth checking out. The Albatross. It's a vibe. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to support this channel, there are some ways you can do that. I have a bass course where I teach you how to play bass over two and a half hours, and I think it's a good course. Then also, I do have some other affiliate links for some of the other stuff that I used to make this video and gear that I like to use in general. So if you want to check those links out, that's a way that you can really help this channel. Just thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you on the next one.